Hey, thanks everyone for joining me again today. Um, got some awesome things going on, and as you can tell, it's no shave November. So anyway, um, later in the video, there is a super awesome tech tip that you'll really appreciate, especially with Christmas coming up. It's gonna save you a fortune in batteries. Um, that's all I'm gonna say for right now. So today's video is uh, wireless mice and keyboards. Um, I get a lot of questions about why isn't my wireless mouse and keyboard working? What's going on with it? You know, just change the batteries, it's still not working. Um, people go, they'll even go to lunch, they'll come sit down, wireless mouse keyboard not working. So let's get started. So the top six reasons why a wireless keyboard and mouse isn't working. All right. So as you can tell, nothing going on here. So first question, first thing you want to do is the obvious, reboot your computer. So if you can't reboot with wireless keyboard and mouse, you're going to have to use the keyboard. Go ahead and hit the Windows key and go and do a restart on your computer. Use the built-in keyboard if you can. Um, if you have no other way, um, you'll have to find a USB keyboard and restart the device and just do a quick reboot. A lot of times this will correct the issue and uh, sometimes if that doesn't resolve the problem the next thing you're going to want to look at is probably your wireless receiver. So the wireless receiver is that little device that comes with your wireless mouse and keyboard. So it's going to be this little guy right here it's going to be plugged into one of your USB slots. What you're going to want to do is remove that. I'm going to wait till it's booted back up here. All right, looks like Windows is back up. So you're going to remove the wireless receiver. You're going to move it to a new USB slot. and you're going to get a little sound there saying Windows recognizes a new device and then after a minute you may or may not get a little pop-up saying new hardware is being installed and that's actually a good sign that means Windows has recognized new hardware that you're plugged in and then you are free to check your wireless mouse and keyboard and see if it's made any difference whatsoever and still no difference there. So the next thing you're going to want to do, if you're still not having any luck, you've rebooted the system, you've moved your wireless receiver from one USB slot to the other, the very next thing you're going to want to do is replace your batteries. A lot of people say, oh, I just put new batteries in, I just checked them, I know they're good batteries. Still, go ahead and replace your batteries. So a lot of these wireless mice, the top will come off. If you're not able to easily see the top coming off, then check the bottom, and there'll be a little um, way to slide the bottom off. It'll pull towards you or push away from you. So go ahead and replace those batteries. Take the top off. And let's get those batteries replaced. I've got some new batteries sitting right here ready to go. Be sure and recycle those. And the other thing you'll want to do is inside the mouse there, it's going to give you a little diagram which way those batteries go in. Very important. That's actually one of the steps later on is are the batteries put in the correct direction. You would not believe how many calls I get where somebody has put the batteries in and they're in the wrong direction. So okay, mouse has new batteries. So keyboard, a lot of the keyboards just have a little flap there on the back. You just press and release. Pop those batteries out. There's usually two batteries. Some of them only have the one battery in the keyboard. Just 
gonna set that down anywhere. Again, a little diagram on the inside showing you the direction those batteries go in. Make sure you have those batteries inserted in the right direction. Get that cover back on. And let's see if we have any luck here. We have still not got a working keyboard and wireless mouse. All right, it is, as promised, time for the best tech tip ever. And like I say, my wife loves me for this tech tip. I didn't believe it until I saw it. This will save you hundreds of dollars. So here we go. Okay, as promised, tech tip of the year, how to test a battery. Empty batteries use up all of the uh, internal uh, chemical components, and therefore they bounce. This battery is empty. So watch this. Christmas coming up, this is the best battery saver ever. So now I'm gonna demonstrate with a full battery. This battery is a new battery. Look at that. Chemical components all compressed, compact. Very little bounce. Now, this only works on a hard surface. Concrete is the best, or a good solid countertop. Battery. Get a lot of bounce. Full battery. Very little bounce. Drop it from about six inches, five or six inches. Little bounce. This is the best tech tip ever. You'll be a hero come Christmas time. Save yourself from throwing away a bunch of batteries needlessly. Look at that sucker bounce. So there you have it, Greg's tip, tip, tip of the year. New battery, dead battery. There you have it, folks. Okay, we are back from that tech tip. Like I say, best tech tip ever. Um, I didn't believe it until I saw it, and I've been doing tech support for 25 years, and I learned about it probably a couple of years ago. And that thing has saved me so much money. And so I didn't believe it until I saw it, and I've done it hundreds of times. It works every time, guaranteed. Okay, so back to our six reasons why wireless keyboard and mouse isn't working. We've already gone through, uh, looks like, four of the six reasons. Um, so reboot the computer, move the receiver to another slot, check and replace the batteries. Um, there's the three, the fourth reason we've kind of covered are the batteries in backwards. Double check every time because sometimes the, the simplest thing is, you know, the most obvious thing is what's happened is the battery, one of the batteries has been put in backward, backwards. Just double check, takes just a second and it can save a whole lot of frustration. Um, fifth reason a lot of people don't know about, there are these little nifty buttons on the bottoms of your mice and keyboards. And so make sure that little button is in the on position and get a little red light. And again, keyboard, little button, on position, little green light, red light, green light. And that makes all the difference in the world. And then, um, now it's got new batteries. Aha, buttons are on. We know the batteries aren't backwards. Look at that. We have got movement, keyboard's working, mouse is working, life is good. So that's step number five, are both buttons in the on position. 
So the last step, why your mouse or keyboard may not be working, wireless mouse and keyboard, would be a possible driver problem. Um, doesn't happen very often, but once in a while you'll get like maybe a one-off where the mouse or the keyboard, you have to go to the manufacturer website and download and install the actual driver. I don't see it often um, where I have done some gaming and I have a, a specialized keyboard or something for somebody, you will have to go and download a specific driver from the software manufacturer, the actual driver manufacturer. Um, say Logitech, for example, you have to go to their website and download that actual driver for their keyboard. If it's some fancy keyboard with a lot of extra keys, uh, specifically for gaming or something, every once in a while you'll see that. And that's something I can cover in another video. Just let me know what you would like to hear about. Um, please uh, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. And be sure and share it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.